what uh, a group in Israel did was to use human embryos uh, from families that carried the fragile X and wanted to have babies that were free of the disease. And they took some of these genetically diagnosed embryos and created an embryonic stem cell line. And then the Israeli group, led by Nassim Benvenisti, showed that the fragile X embryonic stem cell actually modeled the silencing of the gene that we see in kids. So this was very exciting. It suggested the embryonic stem cells could be used to study the disease. So the scientists working in Nassim's lab then came to Children's Hospital to do a postdoc in my lab. And my lab has been involved in turning patient cells back into stem cells. So we asked, could we make a model of Fragile X by taking the skin cells of a, of a kid and reprogramming them back to an embryonic stem cell-like cell? Well, we were able to do the reprogramming, but what we found was that the gene wasn't turned back on. So what this said was that the modeling of the disease using reprogramming wasn't the same as modeling it from embryonic stem cells. So this is really the first example that we have, and the best example, that demonstrates that embryonic stem cells remain an incredibly valuable tool for research because reprogramming of a patient's skin cells don't give us the same model.